Hey guys, Alfred Martin here, and guess what? I am at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show 2018, and I got a spectacle of boats that you can take a look at. Remember, I'm showing the monsters, four and five engine boats only. So, if they're smaller engines, sorry, it's not gonna come on here. All these monsters, Deep Impact, Everglades, Scout, you name it, you're gonna see it, okay? So take a look at it. If you wanna see some monsters at the show, here they go. Guys, we are on another monster, and guess what? We got a special treat now because we got one of the owners and the owner of... Tron, Tron, what's up, man? Hey, everything good, everything oh good. Oh my God, let me tell you something. This is, this is, I mean, this Nortec is just incredible. Tell me about this product and tell me about this boat and what you tried to, to capture here with this. I mean, the finish is, is just absolutely stunning on this guy. So t t tell me and, and walk me around a little bit so we can see what we got here. Yeah, so this boat is powered with five 400 Mercury racing engines. Wow. Uh, it achieves a speed about 85 miles an hour, top speed. You're cruising this boat about 50 to 60 miles an hour. Did, did you just say 85 miles an hour? Yes. And a 45 foot boat. Yes, and wow. we're cruising and we only burn a mile to the gallon. Sounds like a lot to a car owner, but for the boat business, that's a fantastic on the boat this speed and this size. How, how low water can you go, more or less? How, 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 three, four feet? This boat only draws three feet at max, but you can also uh, trim the center engine out and you can probably get as low as two feet and you can go on the beach with it. Wow. So show me some of the features on this Nortec. Uh, this particular boat has a second row seating arrangement. This one hinges so you can push it forward like this. And now you're creating a bench seat in the back. Okay. It's a full size cooler in there. The generator is mounted underneath here, so it has a diesel generator for safety. It's fully air conditioned. It has a nice cool ice box feature here. So this one, it's a freezer plate, so it keeps it super cold. Oh, nice. You can put food, everything in there. So it's, everything is nice and cool for a long time. Then you have, for the people that want to do fishing, we have fish boxes on the deck here. As you can see, the boat has cup holders slash fish roll holders. Good, so, so you can you put... camouflage your fishing with uh, beer cans. <laughs> <laughs> So that, you, that's always a nice treat. Yeah. The ball has a uh, sunshade that comes and covers the whole back here. And then you can Very convenient. Always trying to stay from, yeah. away from the sun, make everybody comfortable. The ball has a state of the art JL uh, sound system. Uh, it has speaker everywhere you can see on this ball with big woofers and. The sound, it sounds like a nightclub, it's fantastic. Oh, we're gonna show that now before we go. We're gonna show it because that's what tri attracted me over here. I was like, where's the party? <laughs> <laughs> it was over here. There you go. Here is featured with the three stations up front. There's three people can stand up here and drive the boat. It has the big Garmin 22 inch uh, GPS unit that you can do whatever you like. You can flip flop, you can do it. Uh, radar, everything on it, as you wish. What also features is wing door. Keeps the wind coming from the front of the boat and keep the people in the back nice and oh and, nice. And, uh, and you can leave it there. Just oh, that's 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 a cool feature. I don't think I've seen that. Then we go further up here. Here it has a lounge seat, just like at house, that's electric. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. So now you can sit here and relax. You press a button, you gotta be kidding me, Trying. What did, who, 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 who lost their mind making this? Who, 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 who thought of this? <laughs> yeah, we have a great team at Nortec, and one of my old partners that has come up with a lot of this. This, guys, look at this. Look how well thought out this is. You're hitting the bow of the boat. You have, you see, have some cup holders you want to hold on. I mean, this is just insane. The floor 
It's uh, like what a sea deck type floor that, that foam. That is sea deck. That's correct. So if you move back here a little bit, I'm gonna show you. There's a table that you're standing on. Now you hit the button here, and this thing here comes up. What? Mind blown. Look at this, guys. So this one comes up. It comes a sun oh. lounge or a table. Nice. Back down. Guys, smash that like button if you. And then it comes down and they flush it to the floor. And, and I'm assuming you got some storage under this area. There's big storage here. Oh, great. Each side. Look at that. It's nice and clean in there, also. Nicely and it painted. And that cooler here. So when you're up here, you don't have to go all the way back for cocktails. It's all right Sweet. here. Let me tell you, I really like these handles. Is this real carbon fiber? What you got here going on? That What's is real carbon fiber and it features wow. up with the stainless steel. Wow. It's handles everywhere for safety. You nice. can sit here face forward or you can sit and face backwards. It's either way you face it, you have handles. So uh, this particular cushion is the filler cushion for the table. So then when you want to make it a big sunbed, you know. Then you bring it up and then you can have it there. Then you put that on the table, you know. Nice. So you can lay out, get some sun. Yeah. And now is this the biggest model that you guys are currently making? Or no. you guys make bigger ones? or We build one just like this, but it's 55 feet. Wow. So, so the same? even bigger. Wow. So we don't have one here at the show. But... Will you have something in Miami to show? Uh, we don't have one here uh, right now that we can show you. Okay. We're um, currently delivering another one, so in the near future we can show you another one. Great. Let's let's take a look at this, this cabin. See what's going on in the cabin. Yeah. Um, guys, this is the this is the console where we're gonna go in, right? This is this is the console. This is the console. What do you really call it? It's a cabin yeah, yacht. What, what what are you what are you defining this? A super. A super yacht, super console. Yeah, this has a nice full cabin. You can actually stay on this boat. As you feel, it's air conditioned in here. It's, it's also nice. air conditioned in the helm seat. So in a hot day, you cool the whole helm area. So it's uh, definitely a lot nicer when it's super hot. This one here becomes a bed. It's an electric motor that you hit here. And it will drop down and become a bed. So right now, it's just like so you can sit down, yeah, hang so out. Now, now it's your hangout area here. Cool. You know, in here you can have an option, this one doesn't have that, but you can have an option here of putting in a uh, microwave and so forth. Some people like to have a cooktop in here. So how long, how long, how much turnaround do you guys need if someone wanted to order one of these boats? What's the turnaround time right, right now? now? You're probably looking at about a year to get one of about these. About a year to get one of these, guys. Things are hot in the market down here yeah, in South maybe. Florida worldwide. So you guys know this is real. These boats are selling and they're selling a lot. I bet you you guys got a lot of back order yeah, for a lot of your products. About a year back order on all the models that we are making. That's that's awesome. Um, what else do you want to compare? I mean, obviously we're 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 showing all the monsters, what I call monsters, which are four and five engines, and sometimes even six engine boats. Right. I mean, the finish on this guy is superb. Um, what would you say the ideal buyer for this particular boat would be? If you had to say, look, the buyer for our boat is... Yeah, I think that we have the guy that wants a boat that's good for everybody. This boat you can take on the poker and, and have a great time on it. You can take it fishing, you can go diving with it, you can take your whole family with it. You can easily go 25 people on this boat. So this is a boat that's fun for everybody. Normally when you buy a boat, it's only good for one certain thing. Yeah. This is such an all-around boat, obviously being 45 feet. The boat handles fantastic in the big water, rough water. So going from here to the Bahamas for the weekend is uh, nothing, you know. It's I'll tell you, I am blown away. The minute that you said 80 something miles an hour, um, with all this a cabin, all this space that you can go ahead and entertain, party. I don't know, I think we should just end this video with you turning on that speaker system and let's jam out. Yeah, I'm gonna make that the on a sister boat here because they are just playing the music on this. It has the same system that's over 39. And uh, Henry, can you turn up the system? Guys, you're gonna we, get a nice feel for the We are done at the boat show. Monsters at the show here.
and Fran, you are the man. Your team is amazing. Congratulations on a fantastic product. Thank you. Guys, we're out of here. Another successful show. Monsters on the bus show. Alright guys, here is La Estrella, what do you guys think, 65 foot center console, it's an amazing boat, and we are boarding, alright. tell you one of the things that is so elegant on this boat are these teak gunnels Here's your master suite. I'm telling you guys, when, when I tell you guys this thing is amazing, a whole room, look, look at the finishes. Look at all the... Oh, nice. You see that? I wouldn't even have known that was there. So you can have, and this is, in, in, this is the console. Under the console. I mean, it's a cabin. It's a cabin. But this here. TV's actually here. We turned off. Okay. Forward. Over here. And that's your master here, right? How fast are you getting? Because I'm, I'm sure people are gonna. Look at this, and the and the buyer for something like this will probably compare it to maybe like a Viking or something like that, and say, you know what, I want to go to the Bahamas quicker, faster, still have the amenities, and and run in any water. Three feet of water in this 65 foot. Wow, oh, that is incredible. Um, what do you do? What are you doing top speed with these? Uh, this has five. Uh, Five submarines? 60. 60 miles an hour, guys, on a 65 foot center console. Are you guys calling this a center console or a yacht? What are you calling this? Center console, super console. Guys, look at all the. Now, there's a couple more of these being made. Uh, they, they told me there's a couple more being made right now. Second one. And I've seen people all over them at the show here in Fort Lauderdale. So primarily you're getting a, a lot of people that want to fish at the same time, have family. Fish, cruise, all the above. Yeah, nice. Guys, look at all the features and space. All teak floor. Look at the finishes. Nice and open. One of the things I noticed last night is well, super impressive. Back here, it projects the projector here 
will project the inside outside. Yeah, that is fantastic. So if you're fishing, you want to see what's going on on your GPS or your plotter. Now, have you had already people that have a 53 that already want the 65? Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I could already see that. That is incredible. Guys, look at this. This, more seating area, more people so you can go ahead and just hang out. I mean, look at the finishes, guys. This is, this is a fantastic, this is a fantastic boat. So listen, this is it, guys. Thank you for watching Monsters at the Show. I'm gonna just close it out with this one because this 65 Estrella is just, I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's, it's, just, it's just a beautiful boat. All right, guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we're gonna be going ahead and doing a lot more Monsters at the Show, and maybe we'll start doing some sea trials on these bad boys. Thanks for watching. Matt, thank you, boss. Twin 300 horsepower diesel. Yes, you are hearing that right, guys. Diesel engines. Could you imagine the torque that this thing has and the fuel efficiency? I would think that if you have a really heavy boat, you're gonna see a lot of the fuel savings using a diesel uh, outboard engine. That is incredible. Really, really impressed, guys. Check them out. Look at them up online, Cox 300 diesel engines. And they're on an intrepid boat. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna have a showdown be between the Australia and the Midnight Express? This is insane, guys. Look at this boat. Brand new Midnight Express 60 footer, guys. 60 footer, let's get on this bad boy and check her out. Whoa. Oh yeah. She's elevated. Woof. Oh my goodness. Wow. You care to talk about her? Ah, you're killing me. This is such a beautiful boat. Look at this. Guys, we are here on the 60 footer Midnight Express. Seven Marine, quad seven Marine. That's 627 horsepower of brute force. Wow, look at this, guys. Now, when you're talking about an amazing vessel, wow, guys. Oh, I could only imagine the cockpit in this. I could only, look at the jail audio speaker system we got here. Guys, this is a 60 footer. Midnight Express, man. Let me tell you, these guys have done it right. This is a table, guys. This will come up and you have seating for everyone here to eat. Look at all these little grooves. So you can put your beer, your drinks, your cocktails. All right. I'm impressed. We haven't even hit the cabin yet, guys. Let's hit the cabin. Look at the boat show. The boat show's on fire. It's lit. Oh, get ready. Get ready. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Do not let your wife see this part of the boat. Wow. I am literally blown away. Look at this. Wow, all modern finishes. This is insane. I feel I feel like I'm on a, I'm in a high uh, high-end hotel right now.
Look at this, man. This is incredible. Dude, this is a 60 foot center console, guys. I'm telling you, look at this. Wow. Let me tell you. Oh my God, it's got another, no. It's got another room here. It's two rooms. Wow. Oh my God, look at this little TV there. Guys, this is incredible. Wow, this is incredible, guys. Let's look at the bathroom real quick. Let's see the bathroom. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. Showers. Let me tell you. The, the game is changing, guys. This... I almost thought that this outboard, you know, trend was a was a, just a fad, but no, this is gonna stick around, guys. Yeah, this is gonna stick around. Let's go back outside. Wow. So, guys, that's it. We are done. With Midnight Express, this thing is the beast of all beasts. And to top it off, it's got four monsters in the back. How fast are we going on this bad boy? 70 miles an hour. About 70 miles an hour? 70, that's seven zero? Yeah. Wow, I am blown away. Let me tell you, that cabin is fantastic. The boat looks raw. It is absolutely stunning. You guys did an awesome job. Guys, we're out of here. Let's go! I think it's time. I think it's time we, we jump on board this Midnight Express. Let's do this, guys. All right, guys. Let's go inside. All right, guys. Looks like it's... Well, this one's a little bit bigger than the other one. Or... Uh, yes, it is. It's different. It's absolutely different. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, just the colors make it look like a whole different boat. What do you guys think about this, huh? Wow. Let's look at these engines. Look at this, guys. Five, count them. Wherever you want to go, as fast as you want to go, no limits. Get on this Midnight Express and go to where you want to go fast. Wow. Let's take a look at that cabin, guys. Let's take a look at that cabin. Obviously, this boat makes a statement for sure. Let's take a look at this cabin in here. All right. Very similar cabin to the other one that we just saw. Um, nice little TV, a table. And very nice boat. Guys, Midnight Express representing their five engine Mercury Verado. All right, guys, we are here at Scout and I have spotted a big big boat let's go check this out let's walk through maybe we can talk to the people here at scout and they can showcase their beautiful boat let's check it out all right guys guess what we have another monster and we got the people uh, here at scout mr lang wow i am um, unbelievable alan product alan <laughs> thank you alan lang director of sales and marketing with scout boats this is our 380 lxf We've got quad Mercury 350 Verados on this. You can see the beach platform here. That is nice. Is that, is that a new feature uh, for this year? Or? No, it's been around for a little bit. It is an option on the boat. We also have a swing-in dive door if someone doesn't wish to have this. You can see the wide open swim platforms on the back that it's very easy to walk across. As you come onto the boat, we've got a Seakeeper 3 gyro standard, and you can upgrade to a Seakeeper 6. The back so that's standard on this particular uh, vessel, and where is it located? It's 
underneath this hatch right here where this gentleman's standing, you mm -hmm. can upgrade to the six. It mm -hmm. comes with a 5KW generator standard as well. This one's got the ultra fabric vinyl on it, so it feels like a soft touch leather. Nice part too is a tender uh, 60 plus gallon bait well in the Wow, that's a nice, that's a nice big tank. We have an optional grill station on this boat. This particular boat doesn't have it, the one we have outside does, but you can press a button, the stern seat comes up, and a grill station rises up out of that with a freshwater sink. We have a sure shade here, and we actually have patented rocket launchers that fold down automatically. Oh, nice. It makes it very easy to load the rods into it, get them in, get them in and out, and when you deploy that sure shade, these automatically lower so they're not in the way. All with the touch of a button? All with the touch of a button. Wow, fantastic. You can see we have access to the hard top here. Makes it easy to get up top for maintenance. Skyhawk's pretty cool. It's got big top. Fresh and raw water hoses. Right over the hoods. You know, half the time you're, you get over the spot, you're looking, at, you're looking at everybody else in the back tank and everything up. Refrigerator on the starboard side. With the leaning post, port side leaning post, we have a ice maker. This is where the magic happens. Digital C zone helm. Right here you can see our bow camera. So just like a car, if you get in a car and you put it in reverse, your blind spots behind you. On a boat this big, your blind spot's gonna be in front of you. So we incorporated a bow camera. When you hit video, you can see your anchor line. If you're parked at a beach somewhere and you have people swimming, you can make sure they're out of the way before you go to take off. This boat actually has individual heated seats as well. Larger hatch seat. Joystick controls. Or we can put a couple of drawers in the Very nice. AC here at the helm and also down below. Fish box is in the floor, storage here. This locker is really nice for gas, line hooks, brushes, lines. Sweet. Keeps you from using up your horizontal rod storage. Moving forward, got a nice area here in front of the console for a lounge, cup holders, glove box, armrests, and it's contoured to keep you in the seat when you're offshore running. Does that windshield, uh, is, is it permanent there or is that? It is permanent there, but believe it or not, you get plenty of breeze back there. It just knocks down all that wind. So when you come home at the end of the day, you're not quite as tired. Uh, this bow table here will go all the way to the floor where you can stand on it, walk on it, raises to the top like you see it here, or I can put it down midway. We've got a cushion that goes across it that makes a full lounge. Nice, nice. We have storage underneath these seats up front. And, and all these in the nice. You can see that everything's finished as well, even the edges of the lids where you're picking them up. Anchor windlass up front with foot pedals, switches also back at the dash. What's Rod your top holders. speed on this right now? Like with the this one with quad. the quad Mercs is 66 miles an hour. Wow. We had the one we have outside with the triple three. Um, it's got the triple new 425 XTOs. Nice. That one is 68 miles an hour. Oh man. So what do we got in here? This is storage in here for the cushion. Oh nice. You got okay. an Armstrong ladder on top of the side ladder out of the beach platform. Put dive tanks in there. So what, what kind of customer would, would ideally be the, the right fit for a boat like this? We're seeing a lot of guys move down from the sporties, uh, inboard, outboards. What they want to do is they want to be able to operate this boat by themselves without having to have a captain and crew. Nice. They want the speed. If they want to shoot across to the Bahamas, they can do it in a little over an hour in this boat. Uh, comfort, fuel economy, and you know not quite as big of a boat to run, so it moves quickly and uh, very efficient. What, what's cruise, like a cruising speed on this guy, more or you less? You can cruise, it has lots of a wide range of cruise. It's anywhere from, I think it's mid 30s all the way up to high 40s. Okay, so, like this. so yeah, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be cruising along then, up, yeah, you know, mid 40s. And, all right guys, so this is where you make the family happy. You go fishing, you start hanging out, and then this is this is where where the family gets happy right where the kids Absolutely. the wife everybody's like okay i don't mind being out the whole day so let's take a look at this so we've got ac down here as well we've got a flat screen tv 
We've got rod storage here. For the guys that don't need this, you can do a cedar closet here in lieu of this. Okay, great. Uh, sleeps what, two, three? Sleeps two. Two comfortably. And what do you, what do we got here? Is that a... That's a flat screen TV. Nice, look at this. The DVD player. The kids get hot or bored. Take them down here and let them put in their favorite DVD. Look at Mind that. After a couple hours. Yeah, separate head and shower. You don't see a lot of that on a boat this size. Yeah, that's nice. And that's real important for a nice kitchen. Stove top, refrigerator, microwave, fresh water sink. Very nice. You guys have done a fantastic job with this one. I also did hear that you guys got a 53 in the works, but we've got a 53. We just completed. We also have a 420 LXF. Nice. Yep. And uh, the 53, we're going to debut that one at Miami. Great. I can so tell you that we've tested it with the new Yamaha 425 XTOs, and we got 57 mile an hour out of that. If you choose to go with five, we're expecting a mid 60s. And we've wow. even uh, had a couple customers request six Mercury engines on the back of that. How, how are you guys liking those new 425s so Love far? Them. They're incredible. Really? Yeah. yeah. Good. We're going to definitely do a feature on those. People wanted to find out information on these scout boats and all the stuff that you guys have up and coming. Where would you suggest they go? Best place to go is uh, www.scoutboats.com. We've got this 380 LXF, all of our larger LXF models, luxury sport fishers. Check them out there today. And these are all made in America, right? Made in Charleston, South Carolina. One last thing I forgot to say about this hull. It's all carbon fiber e-glass and it's epoxy infused. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We are here at Deep Impact. Oh, guys. Guys, we are getting in aboard the deep impact quad mercury 400s all right first first initial impression here is like hold on we are gonna go somewhere and we're gonna get there really fast and the finish the finish my goodness the finish look at this guys there's not a detail Hands off to you guys. I mean, this is very, very nice looking boat. Oh, my, 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 my heart's beating like, like if I got Ace King in a final table at a poke tournament. I, oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. This, this, this looks like a sports car on roids. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, you got, I gotta get in here. I gotta get in here. I gotta get in here. Wow. Now, would I have I expected to have this much space in here? 39.9 guys, this is the, the size of this. I don't know, back in my days I would have brought you know, three, four people here now. I'm a little overweight, so. What do you guys think? My goodness, look at this. This is the console. Inside the console. Oh, it doesn't matter. You want to get some sunlight? Great, you know. Nice. More storage area back there. Extremely impressed. Look at the finish on all this too, guys. All right, let's 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 continue going back outside. Oh man! Oh my goodness! Guys, they have done a fantastic job with this boat. Let me get over here so you guys can see what this boat looks like. Now, it's not a fishing boat. This is a boat to go fast to party and be the center of all attention this is and you're gonna get there fast deep impact 
has blinged their way to fame. Wow. I am blown away, guys. Blown away. Look at this. Look at all the finish. I mean, this stuff looks very nice. Oh my god, look at this dash. Look at all this. See that? Oh my goodness. This must be very nice, nice little touch. You can hold on if you're, you know, going really fast and you're worried and you're back here. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh my goodness. Guys, let's put some music on and party. Hold on and prepare to be blown away. Nice. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. This is a different look. Different look. I definitely want to see some of the. Their upholstery is fantastic. I'm really digging this. This gray. I really like this gray right here, guys. I really like that. Sleep impact. How many people does this boat hold? Find your local sleep number store. Go to sleepnumber.com. Special financing subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. See store for details. Hi, this is Jim Arigo. Nice party. No. This is this is great. This is great. Wow. You have to be kidding me. No. You want the kids to be hanging out here? Yeah, microwave. Deals at Walgreens like buy one get one free on hundreds of items to help you stay healthy. Get ready for that the big closet. Day with 16 ounce blue diamond almonds, regularly $9.99, now just $5.99 per card. Looking for wow, a sweet guys. deal? Select Hershey candy bars, just two for one dollar. What do you guys card. think? Comment below. Right we got Deep Impact. Let me tell you, their finishes are like nothing I've seen. Let's go see the house. All right, we're going to see. This is, this is the head, guys. Oh my goodness. Guys, this one is sold, so... Sorry, but you can't get this one. Maybe another one, but not this one. So I'm standing here on the top of the Cuddy Cabin. Deep impact and let's see the heart baby what makes this bad boy move quad 400s Ken you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me no 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 you gotta be kidding me Oh my goodness. The uh, Sunstream Swift Shield, you can go voting within about 30 seconds. The boat's you, completely covered, you're ready to go. You have just blown my mind, sir. Don't tell me that'll wrap up and, and, and cover it again on its own. No. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Get back up for bonus. I'm with the lift. In 30 seconds, your boat's put away. What if I wanted to get on the water? As soon as you pass, you can lower your boat and get on the water. Your boat has zero UV. Years from now, it'll still look brand no, new. Oh, that is so crazy! You just blew my mind. 
Can can you show me? Can you show me how the boat will go in the water? Now, what I think before I show that, so approximately how much time would you say it takes to get that into the water from taking off the cover for, to the boat hitting the water with, with your lift? It takes about 30 seconds to get the cover off and about another 20 seconds to get the boat in the water. You can uh -huh. be boating within one minute. So, so the biggest advantage is that you're gonna basically be in the water a lot more because everything is easy. Exactly. And you're, you're both protected all the time. You don't have to store your cover, you don't have to touch the cover, you have no barriers. There's no reason why you can't go boating for an hour, watch the sunset, and come on back in. That's, that's beautiful. Show them real quick how it works. And you're doing everything with, with a button. With remote. That is so crazy. Look at that guys, he's just taking it out of the water. Oh man, and now he's gonna put it back in the water. The cover. Wow. Now let me, I mean, I, you know, I, I like to show my viewers and I like to be honest with them. So what happens if your thumb hurts? <laughs> that is insane, people! Today, sir, you have what? Boom. You just won the You Blew Alfred's Mind Award. <laughs> We're right out of here, guys. Thanks Thank so you. Hey, check him out. Sunstream Swift Shield. All right. All right, guys. Let's look at this monster. I mean, after seeing that Estrella, this one looks like a baby, but this is an absolute beauty. Wow. Guys, this here is so sexy. Let's look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at the finishes. Guys, I am really, really fascinated with this boat. Look at this. Wow. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below, guys. This is HCB at its finest, guys. Wow, what a beautiful color as well. Really different. Really elegant. These guys, hats off to them. Did a fantastic job with all these boats. Let's go to the next one, guys. Quad 425 Yamaha's custom painted. All right, guys, we are going to check out this Gulfstream. Listen, this thing is, this thing is absolutely sexy. Very, very different. Um, let's step on here so you guys can check out this Gulfstream. It's got quad 627s. My goodness, guys, look at this. We've been so fortunate this time after the successful YouTube video we did last time of all these boats, what we called monsters at the show. We have some good footage to show you guys because we're in them now. We're in them now and you guys could get to see, you know, what we got here. And uh, I guess the biggest advantage of this boat is, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot, but look at this. Look at this in here. We got to get in there. There's some prospects in there. so. We don't want to bother them, but oh my goodness, 15 feet wide. Wow, man, the sun's coming down. Things are, this is incredible. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about this? Oh yeah. I think this is a fantastic boat, man. Let's see inside here. Let's check out this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow, guys. Wow. 
All right, we're all alone. Oh my God, please, I want this boat. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Wow. Guys. Mind blown. Mind blown. Guys, when I say monsters at the show, this Gulfstream is a beauty. Look at this. You can be in all the worst weather, not getting the elements of outside, comforts like you wouldn't imagine. Wow. Wow, guys, look at this. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, look, it's even spacious in here. A lot of storage. Oh. What do you guys think, guys? What do you guys think? I'm trying to get you guys in here and see. I want you guys to feel exactly what I feel. Oh my God, everything is different colors. Just like mind blowing, bro. Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. But literally, I am Freaking out. This is wow. Your whole panel. I'm not even gonna touch anything else just in case, people. You want some? You want some radio? Oh my goodness, guys. Hey. Well, we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue because there's many more monsters at the show. Let's see if they, uh, want to give us a little bit of information while we're here what's the biggest competitive advantage that you guys have compared to other boats uh, of this size Com okay competitive advantage let's see oh my gosh competitive advantage um, what are some of the differences compared to well, I mean, we look have we have the the glass enclosure okay um, there's a lot of uh, we, we've gotten a, a lot of positive feedback a lot of people from New England it extends their um, because of the weather yes exactly okay it, I think it, that's a huge advantage yes absolutely it extends their boating season yes um, so and you know I've spoken with a lot of wives and they um, they they like going fishing but only for a little bit and then they like to go in and cool down and you know get in the shower watch some TV and just relax while the men catch the fish and and, and they're it. comfortable yes. because I just went in there cook it on the grill and it's yep. very comfortable let me can you see can let me see all those things absolutely Kira never wants to be on camera but no, I got you this doesn't. time girl no, that's it she doesn't <laughs> but look <laughs> but look she has she has all right, and I think the biggest advantage to this boat, to other ones that we're, we're showcasing is what she says, it's, it's, it's completely enclosed. So if there's bad weather, you just get in there, you Absolutely. hide. If somebody wants to stay out here and fish and do whatever they want to do, get dirty, that's all on them. And they're comfortable inside there. Right, yep. Cool. And we've done that. We've gone out in pouring rain and I'm walking to the boat with an umbrella getting inside and it's perfect. That's you awesome. know, we get it up to, we've gotten it up to 67 miles an hour. 67? 67. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You tell me that those quad 627s, how fast again? Uh, 67. What? Yes. Yep. 67? And that was in choppy-ish conditions. That was, it was, it was pouring out. Okay, so when are you going to let me do a sea trial on this boat? <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, another monster. Thank you so much for letting us Thank showcase you. your amazing boat. Thank you. Bahamatan. What time is it? It's Bahamatan, guys. And I do see another big boy. Pick at that hard top. Wow. Guys, you have an amazing treat here with this. Let's count these engines. Let's see how many we got here. Quattro. Four quads. These are very nice. Look at this. Nice, nice. Let's get on this Bahama. I want to see this boat. This looks very nice. Let's get inside this Bahama. Oh my goodness. Cup holders, rod holders, more rod holders. I like this hard top. The finish on this boat, guys, is very classy. Oh my goodness. Look at this, all carbon fiber. 
this looks like it, it closes somehow yep right here you pull it up that is great oh my god i'm in love look at all these bolsters they're filming right here guys so I'm, I'm trying to sneak in i'm trying to sneak in for you guys so you guys can get an idea look at that you see the whole front of the boat i like that it's nice and wide in here Let's look at these boxes and storage. Wow. Another storage area here on this side. I'm sure we got a windlass here. This is very elegant boat. Let's look inside. Let's look oh, yeah. inside. You're gonna like this. And I think I think this is this is where I'm just gonna hang out for a little while. All right, look at this, guys. I'm trying to get this sh shown as much as I can because I think you guys definitely want to see. Oh my God! Oh my God! Look at this, dude. How easy it would be to work in there if you had to. All your on and off switches, dude, this is insane. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but uh, I did it. Let's go find another monster. Oh yeah, oh my God. One, two, three, four quads. Wow, 425 guys on this Everglades. Look at the finish on this bad boy, guys. Look at the finish on this bad boy, Sea Keeper. Oh my goodness, let's get up here. Let's get up here. Let's take off our shoes. Guys, I'm a rib boat guy, let me tell you. I'm a rib boat guy, but oh my goodness. These, these boats are just out of hand. Out of hand. Look at the finish on this. Boat. Open for your eyes to see. Oh, that's one bait well. Oh my god, what is this? This is insane. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. This is very nice. Let's see if we don't interrupt anybody while they're here. Walk up here or take a look at what we got. Okay. Oh. And, uh, that is super nice. It's getting ready to turn around and it's all lit up from the light bar. And it just nice. like, you just know, like... Very yeah. nice. Look at this. Guys, this, they're all so different. They look the same, like, you know, you see them on the outside, but when you start getting into these, you see all differences and, you know, some are... Some are geared more toward fishing, some are geared into a little bit to fishing and family. But look at this. Guys, I really want to know which ones you guys think. I'm sorry about the shaking camera. I got I got I got a 40-pound backpack on and I'm trying to squeeze through here and do all this stuff. Make it look as nice as possible. Nice finishes, all these bolsters. Nice, yeah, more storage. You know, a whole area back uh, here. Rate, Let me see if we can totally start pushing up. some buttons here and oh, see what comes camera. out. Um, Look at that, that guys. Like Look at that. that. Right. Oh my goodness. I literally want to go fishing right now. All right, guys, let's go in the little cabin. Oh, wow, nice. Oh, nice, I like this. You could almost have like two configurations here. If you want to move this here, boom, you got a little sleeping area, which, nice. Kind of be hanging out here. Want to hide from the sun. Just chill. There's a shower here. Where is this? Here's your head. 
the shower. Oh, this whole thing is the shower. You gotta be kidding me. What, what do we got here? We call it the canyons. There'll be peace when you are done. When you're weary, not too.